Welcome to Take Charters. Today, I'm going to install Rockam on Fedora 39 and I will install Stable Diffusion Web UI and try to connect Confi UI extension with it. So, let's get started. This is a fresh Fedora 39 installation. So, I just installed OBS Studio and the required codec for the OBS Studio uh, to capture the screen and other than that it's a completely new installation so nothing is installed and nothing is configured here so first uh, i will install some requirements here so it's uh, installed already now i'm going to install the rockm here the command is sudo dnf install rockm and i will put a star i will install everything related to rockm here let's uh see what it will do yes so it'll install everything related with rockm okay so it is installing Okay, so let's try with Rockm info. Yeah, it is working. So it's already showing my uh, GPU and uh, the name of the GPU is GFX1030. So it's a great sign. Uh, we'll go from here. So now I'm testing with Rockm SMI if it's working. Yeah, that's also works. So it's great. Now we need to go to the Stable Diffusion Web UI. First of all, I need to install Miniconda to make a, I like Miniconda to create new environments. You can use a Python virtual environment also, but uh, I like this one. So let's uh, download this first. Now I'm going to install it. Okay, so you can see for changes to take effect, close and reopen your current shell. So I'm closing the shell and I will uh, reopen the shell again. So I reopened the shell and it's now showing base. That means our uh, Miniconda installation is successful. Now I'm going to search for Stable Diffusion Web UI. Let's check it. Okay. Okay. So stable diffusion away BY is here. Uh, we need to install it. Before uh, going forward, I also want to add my username to the render group as well as video group. So let's first do it and also render okay that's fine so now miniconda is installed i need to install the stable diffusion web ui so first i'm going to download this git with git clone so let's start with git clone uh, i think the git is not installed yet but oh, okay it's installed so no problem 
CDS double diffusion or ABY and I have the files here. So if I read the requirements.txt by the way, I'm uh, going through all the step by step so that you can follow it and everything will work perfectly. Okay, so these all will be installed here. Before that, I need to create a Conda environment. So I'm going to create a Conda env, sorry, Conda create minus n. Uh, I'm going to give the name as d and I will also install Python is equal to 3.1.0.6 and put yes. So it is creating a Conda environment. Uh, the name will be SD and it will also install uh, Python 3.10.6. So I'm going to activate the Conda environment. Great. Now, I need to install the requirements.txt file. So I'm going to put the command pip install requirements.txt. So okay. Okay, so you can see the, I need the minus R flag here. So it's a wrong command. I need to put a minus R here. Okay, now it is installing everything. Uh, I will be back when it's done. Okay. So all the required packages are installed through requirements.txt file. But please remember one thing. The requirements file already installed Torch. You can see Torch is installed, but we need to install Torch Rockm. So first we need to uninstall the Torch and Torch Fission. So it is uninstalled. Now we need to install the Torch Rockm version. So I'm searching with PyTorch. And if we go there, sorry, I need to go to get started and I will select Rockm 5.7. This is the new one. Okay, so PyTorch is installing right now. It's 1.7 GB. It's a big file, so it will take a little bit time. Okay, so PyTorch Rockm is installed. You can see the Torch 2.2 and Rockm 5.7. Now, uh, let's check whether the PyTorch is working or not. It's success. So that means uh, it can, our Python can uh, get the PyTorch imported successfully. Now I'm checking with the, this is the, if it's CUDA code is available or not, I'm checking this. So it's showing true. That means it get the GPU support. Now uh, we'll go back to the stable diffusion web UI. So, I'm going to create a uh, launch file from this. Okay, so I'm already inside the stable diffusion uh, directory. I'm create a new file that is launch.sh. Okay, and uh, I'm going to copy and paste some commands so just i need to delete this because i am inside the python environment uh, miniconda environment 
and everything is fine. If you uh, are using the 7000 series GPU from AMD, you need to put 11.0.0 here, but I am in 6900 XT, so I need to put 10.3.0, and let's write it, Control O and Control X, so our launch file is ready. So let's start with it. Okay, I'm running it for the first time. So it will take another time, few times here, because it will download the base model that is 1.5 pruned version of SD, stable diffusion. So it will take a little bit time and I will be back when everything is done. So uh, you can see it's already uh, installed all the things I needed for Stable Diffusion OABY. So I can use this link to start the I will pull this paste it. It will start the Stable Diffusion. Great. So now uh, I'm going to start a new uh, uh, a new terminal here to check uh, if our GPU is working perfectly or not. This command will run SMI RockM SMI in every one second to check the GPU usage. And I'm just creating a random image here to check if our GPU is working. You can see the GPU is 99%, so it is actually working. That's great and it's very much done and it's good it takes very little time so our stable diffusion is working completely fine the next step i will do to install the comfy ui extension so let's try this whether i can install it successfully or not because a uh, few person told me that it is not working on Fedora. Uh, I'm not sure. This is the first time I'm trying this. So let's uh, check it. So I'm going to the FL level one and load form. So here is a big list. So I'm going to use the search option here. Here it is. So let's try comfy ui here it is so this is the extension i need to install i want to install so what basically this extension will do it will install the comfy ui and the comfy ui will use the same resources from uh, stable diffusion the same models uh, so you don't need to download those models separately and comfy ui is very flexible so let's uh, install it installed so we need to go to the installed file here so this is the one so I will apply and quit so the I'm now out of uh, stable diffusion it's quitted so I'm going to start this again basically reloading everything after installing the uh, comfy UI so it looks like the could not find conf ui directory those started so let's check it again here so i need to install conf ui form here now click on conf ui installed now please reload the ui so i need to reload the ui here 
Let's check whether the Comfy UI is working or not. Yes, the Comfy UI is here. You can see the link here. I'm just going to copy the link and open a new tab and paste it. You can see the Comfy UI is installed and also the Comfy UI manager is installed. And if you go to the stable diffusion and click on Comfy UI, it is not showing anything here, but uh, if you go there, you can see the Comfy UI. So what I'm going to do is close these tabs and close it again. So this is closed now. I'm going to relaunch the Stable Diffusion. Okay. And here I will copy the link and paste it again here to start the Stable Diffusion. And if you click on the Comfy UI, you can see you can now run the Comfy UI from the Stable Diffusion and uh, it is also using the 1.5 pruned version and if you want to run this in a separate window you can copy this link and you can paste it here and it will directly run the Comfy UI so it's great. Now let's generate a random image here it's the default uh, workflow so I will just start you prompt and you can see it's running and so I'm going to make it a little bit larger here so that I can see yes so the image is already generated and we're using the same models from the stable diffusion so this is great it works perfectly so that's all for today and thank you for watching the, watching the video. It's a great, great pleasure for me to make videos for you guys. Uh, before creating this video, I need to study a lot. And uh, hopefully you will like this video. I try to show you step by step as a beginner. If you like this video, please um, like on the YouTube video and also subscribe my channel so that I can uh, continue to upload more videos. And thank you for watching and have a great day.